Hello everyone, I am going to make this quick video on how to optimize OBS on the CPU affinity part because a lot of people seem to get confused by it. Assuming you already know how to use OBS, this should be no problem. So first off, we want to find OBS. OBS should be either in your 32-bit or x86 or your 64-bit. Here, you want to create a shortcut. Once you've done the shortcut, you want to go to the properties of the shortcut, remove this path here, but leave this one here, you're going to need it. You want to copy paste this here and put it right in front of it here. Add a space here just in case. Change the program name and put it OBS. Now we want to go to this site, uh, assuming you understand how this works. It's pretty simple. For example, if you have a quad core, there's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. That's four CPUs. So we want OBS to use the last CPU. So it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0. So in this website here, that should be linked here. You want to add 1, 0, 0, 0. It's going to give you 8. So you want to put 8 in the shortcut here. Replace this thing here and put 8 here. Once this is done, you press OK. After that, the shortcut should look like this. No worries, though. You can just change the icon back by going to... Um, the OBS folder, I'm gonna find it. And here, it all looks normal. Once you start the application, you go to the task manager, it's gonna look like it should be. Like this. The last CPU of your quad core should be used. Pretty nice. Now the uh, uh, processor are not gonna fight over which is gonna use the more resources. Now you wanna find run shell startup. This is a folder where you put your shortcuts to start on Mac or Windows. You want to put OBS in there. But for me, I already have it, so I don't need it. And now, you want to do the same thing with Steam. Like, I'm going to find Steam. It's a 32 bit application, so it's an 86. You want to find Steam, create a shortcut, put it on your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, you want to do the same thing as we did before. Remove this. Go to the website, type the string here, then put it in front of it here, and then here we're going to put Steam. And now, since you want Steam to use your first three cores rather than all of them, we're going to go to the binary here, understanding how it works. OBS is already using this one, so we're going to put zero and give Steam the last three cores. One, one, one. So here we remember this zero, one, one, one. This is going to be seven. So here you're going to put seven. You save. Now it's going to change again. However, you can do the same thing change icon, find it, 32 bit. Uh, oh, wait, that's OBS. Uh, Steam, where are you at? There you go. And now Steam's going to look as fancy as it did before. You can use these shortcuts and put them everywhere. For me, I put in the shell startup because that way, when I start up my computer, OBS and Steam already start up with the CPU preference. I don't need to worry about it. You can do the same thing. For example, my handbrake here is a shortcut that I've made. And whenever I'm using it, the um, software, instead of taking all over my CPU, only takes over these CPUs here. So since I have servers running on this here, they're not going to be bothered. They're only going to be using this here, which is pretty nice. So that would be it. Generally, you can do this with pretty much any CPUs, draw cores, quad cores, whatever. I prefer quad core at least. Six core would be optional and eight core would be very beneficial. On a draw core, I, I would recommend that you still use H.264 because you're going to need these two cores to get a decent performance out of your games already. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for rating up my guide, favorite, whatever. It just, it helps me a lot, and I'm really thankful that you guys really made it popular. Thank you very much.